and welcome to my new video. Today we will learn about divided difference. So first, what is the divided difference? Little bit further, in unequal interpolation, first we learn for unequal interval interpolation, Lagrange's, then Harmine. Today we learn the divided difference. With the help of this, we can develop the Newton's divided difference formula and how to solve the problems. So let fx0, fx1, fxn are the values for function y is equal to fx. Means it is y0, y1. When we put in this function x0 point, then we will get the value is fx0. Put x1 points respectively point x0, x1 to f, which is not necessarily equally distributed. Means in each points we don't say they are equally for example x1 minus x0 is 1 and maybe x2 minus x1 is 4 and x3 minus x2 is 2 like that means they are not equally placed they are difference between them are difference so what is the first order divided difference first order divided difference for fx of x0 x1 is given by f x0 x1 this means fx1 minus fx0 upon x1 minus x0 and in divided difference notation we can write like this this if we cannot cut delta with this line then it will be normal operator of newton forward but when we cut this delta with this line it's called this is first order divided difference. Now, if we want to find out first order divided difference with x1, x2 point, then x1, x2 is the second point value at the function of second point minus first point value at the function upon second point minus first point. We can write like this, del divided difference operator x2 fx1. So similarly, what is the general formula? If we consider r is going from 1, 2, 3, 4 to n, then the general divided difference formula is given by fxr minus fxr minus 1 upon xr, xr minus 1, written by this. So, this is the first order divided difference formula. Next, I show you how to write the second order divided difference, third order, then order till n. So, next we will write the second order. second order. So, for second order, basically let's proceed for second order divided difference formula. So, for second order divided difference formula, we have to write, we need three variables x0, x1, x2, right? Like this, del square x1, x2 of x0. So, first order of divided difference from x0, x1 and x1, x2 and divide by x2 minus x0. So, it will be this is first order divided difference. This is second order. So for second order, first we have to find out the first order divided difference and then we have to proceed. So f x1 x2 minus x1 x0 by x2 minus. We can rewrite substitute values of this. f x1 x2 is f x2 minus f x1 upon x2 minus x1. Minus f x1 minus f x0 upon x1 minus x0. x2 minus x0 is outside. When we rewrite and rearrange, we will find to write in the form. This is easy to remember. Either you can remember this or you can remember f x0 upon x0 minus x1, x0 minus x2. x0 minus x0 term is omit. In when we this term is x0 fx0 it means there x0 minus x0 cannot come we have to start with x0 it next fx1 so x1 minus x1 is not coming here because it makes you it start with x1 minus x0 x1 minus x2 next term is x2 so x2 minus x0 x2 minus x1 similarly we go directly to the nth order derivative of divided difference so what is if it is x0 x1 x2 xn so notation is divided difference of nth order x1 to xn fx0. So previous order fx1 x2 xn minus fx0 x1 to xn minus 1 upon x0 minus xn. 
Similarly, we follow this pattern. If we rewrite, so it will become x0 fx0 upon x0 minus x1, x0 minus x2, x0 minus x3 till x0 minus xn plus fx1 x1 minus x0, x1 minus x2, x1 minus x3 till x1 minus xn plus that 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 last term is fxn upon xn minus x0, xn minus x1, xn minus x2 till xn minus xn minus 1. So this is the general formula or we can say nth order derivative formula of divided difference. Next step I will show you the table of divided difference. Table is exactly same. It's a little bit different from the uh, simple Newton's uh, interpolation table forward and backward. So let's see have a look of the table. See the table how to construct so x0, x1, x2, x3, x4. Regarding we have the values of the function at x0 point, at x1 point, x2 point, x3 and x4. So substitute here. Now the first order difference, divided difference is f x1, x0. f x1, x0 how to find f x1 this minus this upon x1 minus x0. Similarly, next is x2 minus x1, x2 minus x1 is fx2 minus fx1 upon x2 minus x1. Similarly, in this and this. Next step is second order divided difference f x0, x1, x2. So, for this, what is the value here? This fx2 minus x1 minus fx1, x0. So, this minus this divide by x2 minus x0. Similarly for this, this minus this divide by x3 minus x1. For this, this minus this x4 minus x2. So it's going on like this. For third order di di difference, this minus this. But for third order, last point is x3 and first point is x0. So denominator is given by x3 minus x0. Here last point is x2. So denominator is given by x2 minus x0. Here x3 minus x1. Here x4 minus x2. So same. For this, numerator is this value minus this value. And denominator is x4 minus x1. So this x4 point minus x1 point. Similarly, fourth order, fourth order is this minus this and x4 minus x0 and so on. So, this is the process how to construct the table. Let's see with the one example. If I put these with some values, let's check if x0, x1, x2, x is 4, 5, 7, 10 and 11. fx is given by. 48, 100, 294, 900 and 1210. So now we have to calculate all the divided difference derivative. Let's proceed. First one is 100 minus 48 upon 5 minus 4. So, it will become 52. Next is 294 minus 100 upon 7 minus 5. It will become 97. 900 minus 294 upon 10 minus 7 become 202 and 1210 minus 900. 11 minus 10 becomes 3, 1, 0. Next, second order derivative. So, for second order derivative, this minus this, 97 minus 52 upon this, x2 minus 7 minus 4. It becomes 15. This minus this, 202 minus 97 upon 10 minus 5. So it becomes 21. Next is 310 minus 202 upon 11 minus 7. It becomes 27. Next is third order derivative. Third order derivative same. 
21 minus 15 upon 10 minus 4. x4 minus x0. This is x0, x1, x2, x3, x4. So, x3 minus x. 10 minus mm, 4. And 27 minus 21 by 11 minus 5. So, it is 1 and it is also 1. Next step same 1 minus 1 upon 11 minus 4. So, 1 minus 1 becomes 0. So, our last derivative becomes 0. It means this is the polynomial of degree 3 because the next we with the table we can say it going on 0. So, this is the polynomial of degree 3. That's the divided difference and the divided difference table. Next, I will move on the properties of divided difference. So, firstly, I will explain some property, then the Newton divided difference formula. So, let's proceed with the first property. Let I will explain the properties of divided difference. The first property is like commutative property f x0 x1 is similar to x f x1 x0. So let's see x0 x1 is f x1 minus x0 by x1 minus. Similarly, if we write in the reverse way f x1 x0 then f x0 minus x1 x0 minus x1. So these are the both same. So no negative sign will become there. f x1 x0 is x0 x1. Similarly, f x1 x2 is x2 x1. Next is if first in first order divided difference there is some constant R multiplication. So divided difference of A F X plus B G X where A and B are constant then for finding them or for solving them we can take out the constant from them. So A divided difference of F X plus B divided difference of gf is the same as this is divided difference of gx is the same as this this is the, called the second property third is very simple if the nth order divided difference of a polynomial of degree n for example polynomial is given of degree n then their nth order divided difference is given by the coefficient of that nth order variable. For example if we have the cubic equation so we can say 4x cube plus 2x square and so on. So this is the third degree. What is the degree of this polynomial? Higher power of x is 3. So, this is 3 order. So, what is the del 3? Divided difference of third. Divided this difference of third is given by coefficient of higher order. Means its coefficient. So, divided difference del 3 is given by 4 only. And the all further going to be 0 like that. So, this is the general the nth order divided difference of a polynomial of degree n are constant equal to the coefficient of xn, coefficient of that variable. Clear? Next. I will show you the relation between divided difference and the forward difference operator. So, this is our divided difference rth order operator del r fx0. It is given by if we want to develop this with the simple forward operator then it is given by del r fx upon factorial r h to the power r. h is the difference between the functions which we already learn in the simple forward difference table where r is going from 1 to 3 4 to n. This is the general relation between the divided difference and the forward difference operator. Next I will move on the Newton's divided difference interpolation formula. So what is Newton divided difference interpolation formula? Let's see. 
what is my Newton's divided difference interpolation formula. If fx0, fx1, fx2 are the values of function fx corresponding to the argument x0, x1, x2, x3, x4 and so on then and where x0, x1, x2 are not necessarily equally placed means they are unequal also for example x1 minus x0 is 2 then x2 minus x1 is 5 or something else so what is newton divided difference formula that will be given by this equation we can construct the function with these values if we have x some points and corresponding fx corresponding value then what is the polynomial for those point and regarding values is let's see how to use the newton divided difference formula and find out the polynomial my question is find the fourth degree curve for y is equal to fx passing through the points 2 3 4 43 5 138 7 7 7 708 8 1 5 1 5 so these are the points one more point is here 8 1 5 1 so first step we have to construct the divided difference table x0 x1 x2 x3 x4 and regarding values of function next same first order divided difference 43 minus 3 upon 4 minus 2 is 20 138 minus 43 upon 5 minus 2 778 minus 138 upon 7 minus 5 gives 320 one 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 five one five one five minus seven seven eight upon eight minus seven is seven fifty seven. Next ninety five minus twenty upon five minus two is twenty five. Three twenty minus ninety five upon seven minus four is seventy five. This seven three seven minus three three zero divide by 8 minus 5 is 139. Similarly, third order 75 minus 25 upon this 7 minus 2. 139 minus 75, 8 minus 4. Next is 16 minus 10 divided by 8 minus 2. So 16 minus 10 is 6 and 8 minus 2 is 6. 6 by 6 is 1 everything done next substitute in the formula so fx is fx0 fx0 is 3 fx0 is 3 this is fx0 respectively 3 plus then del fx0 del fx0 is 20 x minus x0 x minus x0 is x0 is 3 this is 3 i think i make the mistake when yes next this is 2 so next next is del square fx0 del square fx0 is 25 x minus x0 x minus x1 plus del cube x fx0 is 10 x minus x2 x minus x4 x minus x5 plus 1 x minus x2 x minus x4 x minus x5 x minus x7 now simplify it you will get the polynomial of degree 4 and what is of my third property higher power of is the coefficient of that higher order or the derivative is this last order coefficient so that's for x4 coefficient is 1 only 1 x4 minus 8x cube plus 38 square minus 56x plus 43 this is the polynomial which gives the these points so this is the use to derive the polynomial with the help of Newton divided difference interpolation formula. That's all for today. Thank you very much.